good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm be doing a mukbang. I have these some Hawaiian rolls and some Publix chicken. That's what I had to taste for, so that's what I'm eating. And I asked my Instagram to ask me some questions for this mukbang, so that's what I'm gonna get my that's what I'm gonna get my questions from. So yeah, first question is. How's life been after graduation? My life after graduation, kind of confusing. Didn't really know like what I was supposed to be doing. I knew I wanted to go to school, but like I was gonna take a gap semester and throughout that. I really didn't know what I was gonna be doing. So I just was going through the motions, but I mean, it was okay. Next question is, do you miss high school? Yes and no. I don't miss high school because I don't really miss like going to class and like being in that one class for that long, being at school for that long too. I ain't like that, but like the people I met, the friends that I did make, I did enjoy that part of high school. So kind of, I miss that part. Next question is do you miss your ex you know who lmao <laughs> the my answer to that is no i don't miss my ex that was a high school relationship lasted for like i don't know five six months tried out of high school didn't work out so nah nothing to miss about it next question is our birthday coming up what you got planned Yes, sir, Pisces game. But I plan on going to Universal Studios with my people. That's in Orlando. And I also plan on going shopping the outlets. That's it, I'm getting older, so it's not really nothing I really wanna do or nothing I really have planned besides doing that, so. Next question is, you found the girl of your dreams, question mark. I pray for a girl that will always be there for me, that love me, that pick me no matter what me over everything, all about me. Show that they care and love me, not just say it. And I received that, so yeah, you can say that. I found a girl in my dreams, I, I guess. I mean, it's like, I really went looking, she just came to me, so it's just like, it was like fate. But yeah, I think I did, for sure, for sure, for sure. All right, next question is, how is school and what are you majoring in and how is life? School is good. School's okay. I'm keeping up with my grades. Just passed my first test this semester. I made an 83 on it. Just pretty good. So happy about that. I'm majoring in engineering and life, life's cool. It's treating me good. Definitely a lot of ups and downs though with this adulthood that I'm just into, but overall, probably like a right now. Okay, six and a half out of 10. I gotta get some things situated first before I can hit that 10 out of 10. If y'all enjoying these mukbangs, let me know. I'll definitely do some probably like with my girl and my sister, my people. I don't know, just let me know if y'all enjoying these mukbangs, but I enjoy doing this. This right here is fun to me eating, answering questions. I like doing that, so let me know if y'all know. She more this. Why did you cut your dreads? I had dreads. I'll probably throw a couple pictures up and videos, maybe. My shit straight. But I cut my dreads because I had them for a long time. Now I wanted something new. So that's why I cut them. And it was just like the spur of the moment. Had my dreads for about like, I don't even know how long. I, I had my dreads for a really long time, so it was just time to get rid of them. And I like the way it is now. I mean, I do miss my dreads, don't get me wrong, I do miss them, and I still do have them too. It's gonna be a while before I grow them things back out though, but yeah, it's tired of them. Next question is, first job experience. My first job experience was at Subway. I was 16 years old. Got paid bi-weekly. It was a good job. I mean, I got paid from it. I bought all the things that I wanted to buy. 
So let's do that. No sleep. Where do you see yourself in five years? Five years, I'll be 24, 25. I see myself as a house owner. Six figures in my bank account. Hopefully still doing this. I don't know. Hopefully, maybe. Who knows? We'll see. With, like, five dogs in my backyard. With a big-ass backyard and big-ass fence. Big ass dog house, this is gonna go and play. I'm um, supposed to have my dreads. That's why I see myself in five years. Next question is, what made you start YouTube? I don't know, I just grew up watching YouTube ever since I was like in elementary school. That's all I've been watching was YouTube. And I never even know how to upload videos, but my parents did have a little camcorder and me and my sister used to like do YouTube videos on that and stuff. And I just been talking about doing YouTube. And I actually did start a YouTube video in the ninth grade. I might throw clips of that in. We're going to react to two how LeBron reacted when he heard Kyrie requested a trade. This is by RDC World. Um, original video in the description. Hopefully this makes me laugh. Stop doing it. I had to stop doing it because I just got lazy with it. And then when I got older, I was like, let me try this again. So I had got these chop tops from Walmart when I was working there at the time. And... They started a YouTube channel. Next question is, how long have you been skating? Not that long, probably like a month. Like a month. I had got my board when I was a senior in high school. But I was like, probably for like a couple of weeks and I had got bored of it, honestly, because I had nobody to skate with. And just recently, my sister said she wanted to also start skating, so. That's when I started kept picking back up on it again. Next question is, when did you come out slash how? I came out when I was in middle school and I just walked in my parents' room and just told them. Yeah. I'm gonna do a story time on that. A more and more like detailed story time on how I, felt, like how I found out I like girls and all this stuff like that. So how you and your girlfriend met? Well, I was her manager at a restaurant and I got her number and we just started texting. And one thing led to another, and now she's my girlfriend. We've been going, we've been going at it for like a year and some months. Hopefully, more to come. But yeah, I'm also doing a story time on that too, a more in detail story time on how me and her met. I actually do a mukbang with her if she's down for that. So yeah. Next question is, why do you smoke? <laughs> the first time I smoked was wasn't that long ago. Probably like two years ago, I think maybe. I don't know, probably a little less than that, but. <clears throat> I was like in a real bad like head space. And when I smoked, I don't know, it was like, I was happy, I was laughing, it was funny, it was cool. And it's like, every time I smoked, like, I was just have a good experience, no bad experiences, so that's why I do it. I don't really, I don't smoke heavy. I probably smoke like two blunts a day, if that. I don't really, they don't really do nothing. Like, it's not detrimental to me, so that's why I still do it. It starts being a burden on me, that's when I'll stop, but it doesn't affect my life in a negative way, so I don't feel like I'm gonna stop. Next question is, what's your dream car? My dream car, my, my dream car is a Corvette. I always wanted a Corvette ever since I was in middle school and I've seen them things. I just thought them cars was like the nicest cars ever. So no matter what, my dream car will always be a Corvette. My next car, I'm stuck between a Jeep and a Mustang. Or even a Hellcat. But I'm leaning more towards a Jeep because it has more benefits than the Hellcat. This is my last, the next and last question is, Top three anime. Ooh, top three. Damn. And no specific order, I'm gonna have to go Hunter x Hunter, Naruto, and One Piece. Then my top three. All right, so I'm full. The chicken. All right, y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you do, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all niggas next time.